chopper and it takes me an hour to shop because I talk with people. And uh, You're the mayor. Yeah, well, <laughs> and you know, people s very much like to talk to the mayor. I mean, my secretary, she'll get the calls that some people, she says, oh, this person is irate. And, but when I call them on the phone, you know, I'm, you know hello, how are you doing? And uh, they just, you know, meld right into the, the idea that uh, we're not antagonistic, we're trying to do the right thing. Uh, you know, like I say, we're a small little community that, you know, we have like 13,000 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're doing a little bit in the two years that I've served as mayor uh, for all parts of the village. You know, we're, we're uh, we've improved the lighting outside yeah, of the been Avalon. Yeah, a lot of nice and, changes. Uh, we've, uh, we have a new band shell up at the uh, George W. Johnson Park. We're going to have concerts this uh, summer, nice. um, you know, and it's built so that we have a side hill, almost like a, not a, I don't want to call it mini Woodstock, but I mean, you can lay the blankets down and we have, uh, I've applied for some grants that so we're going to have some big band sounds, some awesome. jazz sounds, and you know, people are just going to be able to sit out in front and I, about April we're going to have uh, a, 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 the introductory uh, ceremony and, and mm. uh, some great bands uh, throughout the summer. Well, so we're looking nice. forward to that. We want to let people know that if you have any comments, be it what um, our mayor is talking about, something that we talk about in the show, a question about anything, uh, be free and make sure that you contact us uh, via email. You can reach us at uh, servincigars at AOL.com and that'll be flashing in the back. And you can also reach us uh, on the telephone at the 607-743-4272. We'll be happy to take your calls. And uh, for the rest of the show now, what we're going to talk about is a little bit about some of the paraphernalia that you use with cigar smoking. As I mentioned before, we're going to talk about a lighter and a cutter because they are the key tools that are used. Now, I'll have close-ups on this in a little while. We don't get endorsements from the companies when we do this. We're doing it because this is what I wanted to buy. This here lighter is a called Zykar, X-I-K-A-R. It's their top of the line or flagship lighter, $99. Uh, before people gasp and think that's a lot, I mean, I've spent $100, $200 on other lighters. I've got a Cartier lighter that's $700. And up to this point, it hasn't functioned as well as this particular lighter here. There's a triple flame lighter. I don't know if you can pick that up. But uh, what I'm going to do with this lighter is over the next six months, I'm going to tell you how uh, dependable it's been. Because the last thing you want to do is try to light somebody's cigar and sit there for 15 minutes, uh, you know, playing around with getting the flame. Now, the cutter is also a Zycar. This uh, is a $47 cutter which again it might sound a little expensive but I found out only through uh, experience recently the difference between a ten dollar cutter and a fifty dollar cutter is night and day this cuts through like a knife a hot knife through butter it truly makes the cigar experience better and the reason why is because you will not tear the end of your cigar and once again it's got uh, dual uh, guillotine and we'll see how that ends up working now as I described last week, a little bit about the cut. A nice, smooth, even cut will give you a variance in how you're going to enjoy your cigar. With a full cut such as this, you can even have a, uh, when you're using a wrapper that's Connecticut Shade, which is one of your lighter wrappers, it'll allow you to enhance the strength of the cigar by having a larger puff each time you do it. And we're going to see how long this stays uh, sharp but the nice thing about these two lighters is in the worst case scenario, if they don't live up to what I would expect on a lighter, both of these lighters have a lifetime unconditional guarantee. This guarantees to remain sharp and they will replace it or sharpen it as you will. And this has an unconditional guarantee unlike any other lighter that's out there that it not only uh, warranties the mechanism to make it work, but the, the surface. If you scratch it, you rip it, you, whatever you do to it, they will turn around and they will replace it for you. So I can't see how I'm going to be disappointed at all with that type of a uh, package that I'm using. The um, next thing is how to refill a butane lighter. 
One of the things that a person wants to do is that when it comes time to refill, take a penny nail and make sure you purge holding the lighter upside down and purge all the gas out of it. Set it down, leave it there for a couple of minutes, turn around and do it again. I do this three to four times making sure that there's no gas in it. At that point, once you're totally sure, you turn around and take the can upside down and with this has a little window. Some lighters have a window, the better ones do, the ones that don't just makes it a little more difficult. But literally when you fill it, you don't need to take more than like this, one, two, three, and it will be filled. I've seen people stand there with the can literally for like a minute trying to jam in fluid. All they're doing is wasting the can. A can of fluid should end up lasting a person, and when I say fluid I mean butane, should end up lasting a person over a year, maybe two years with as many lighters as they happen to be using. That will, once you fill it up and you take those couple of seconds to fill it up, set it down and you need to let it sit before lighting it for about three to four minutes. What that does is it brings the temperature of the cold gas and it settles it down and it allows to have a nice flame. And as you'll see, I just fit, uh, had filled this just before the show and it's got now a beautiful flame once again. You mentioned butane. What about my big click that they light cigarettes with? Is, they, is, there, is butane is a different type of thing you're saying? Yes. Well, the same butane that's in, a, well, I'm sure it isn't quadruple distilled such as this is, but butane is butane um, in a big click because what happens is it's non-refillable. The only thing wrong with using a big click or something to that effect, I mean, it's great for your cigarettes, but what happens is you burn your hand. The better cigars like this, uh, better cigar light is, my fingers down here. I will not burn my hand no matter how long it takes to light my cigar. Now when I'm lighting a cigar, which is now laying on the floor, so I'll probably have to relight it, I'll just give you an example of how I like to light a cigar for the first time. What I do is I take the flame and I gently toast the end of it. Now what I mean by toasting is nothing more than getting the end of my cigar black. And then I stop. 